Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Roy. Check out modernstoic.us for thoughts and quotes. And is peace of mind comparable to peace of states? Wow, what's that? That's kind of a stretch. But I think in a materialistic international relations theory, theory, it's kind of funny to think about it. So what does a healthy, happy nation, a peaceful nation, what does it need? Okay, first of all, peace is never, never a state. It's always like a process it's a state maybe but it's not stale and it's not stable at all so peace is some kind of super complex process where some things are in balance and where the outcome is no war so maybe the, the absence of war is peace so maybe the absence of pathological stress is peace of mind too and maybe something more has to be thought of For example, what state is peaceful inside? A state is peaceful inside when it knows that it can defend itself. A state is peaceful when it's one of the biggest players on the block. A state is inside peaceful when it's powerful, when there's a power imbalance, when there is more options for the powerful player than for the weak player, when there is not that much uncertainty And if there is uncertainty, there's plan Bs. That's a powerful state. And maybe that's also a state that's similar to peace of mind. What if you, if you think about a state in terms of consumption, production and military power, right? Power to protect or like power infrastructure to protect territory. That's what a state protects and territory in terms of everything that has to do with infrastructure too. So it's like land and infrastructure and information security to everything. Everything that kind of relates to security and influence in all kinds of ways. What if you say, okay, what your territory is in the personal sense is ways of generating income and ways of building relationships with people. Maybe that's your territory as a human being, as an individual. And maybe this territory has to be protected too. And it has to be nurtured and it has, it has to be taken care of. It's also a process. And if your territory is primarily all ways you generate income, then you have to protect it too. You have to have plan Bs. You have to have a big set of weapons, e.g. skills, to fight for your territory slash your income. What if peace of mind is a side effect of ups and downs well taken care of and then power, influence, relationships and a strong foundation and opportunities and arms to generate income or to secure future income, to not be insecure and to not be vulnerable to catastrophes by nature, to enemy states, to enemies from within? What if peace of mind is part of a power game while being a microcosmos inside a bigger state, of course, where everything that has to do with life and death is taken care of? What if everything in this microcosmic power game has to do with territory in the sense of generating income, generating good relationships with people, generating a energy management system where you don't stress yourself out too much, where you are eating good nutritious food, reading good books and cultivating that so that your production is more than your consumption and your weapons to defend your territory is all that is strategy and tactics, skills, muscle strength, all that kind of stuff that can be utilized to earn money in this microcosmos of you. Thanks for listening. This is Roy. Check out modernstoic.us for thoughts and quotes. And I see you next time.